Hello Leo, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot. Today we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you at this period, the 3rd of June to the 17th. So let's get started. <clears throat> thank you universe, thank you angels, spirit guides, my higher self. Please show me the messages for the sign of Leo from the 3rd of June to the 17th of June. Please give me clear and accurate messages. What do they need to know? I'm going to take the cards that flip up, Leo. One more card, please. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, so Leo, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Wands, okay? So the Three of Wands for me is the energy that you're coming into this month with. Um, and the Three of Wands for me talks about um, it's a very spiritual card for me. I can't remember what sign it was. I think it might have been Aries that had it. But it talks about um, really being on the same path with someone, okay? I love this illustration because it shows two deer that are together. So this would be you and your other, your significant other. And it shows the wands of passion and creativity. Um, I like to think of that as your life purpose, like where you want to go, what you want to achieve in this lifetime. Um and then there's a third one, which represents the union between you both. So for some of you, this is a really powerful card, okay? It's, um, I think last reading, last love reading, I was talking about commitments. Some of you were getting engaged. Um, some of you are taking things to the next level. Um, and this card kind of confirms that for me, all right? It's kind of like, um, yeah, I'm seeing wish fulfillment coming through in, in your previous past as well. It's like you're, you're a meeting of the mind, you're going in the same direction, okay? And for some of you that are not um, getting engaged or not taking your relationship to the next level, for some of you that are in existing relationships, um, this is all about like getting kind of back on track, okay? And the reason why I say that is because we have the fool and the fool represents, this is what the energy you're coming into with this new period, but new beginnings, taking a leap of faith, Okay, so for my single Leos out there, um, it could mean that you're about to take a leap of faith and new beginning and starting something new with someone. Um, for those of you that are, and I'm speaking to single Leos right now, for those of you that are or do have someone around you, you have the nine of wands. So it's kind of like almost you're a little bit defensive. Okay. Um, I'm getting whoever's watching this you've got the five of cups you've been hurt before a lot um, you're like I was struggling to speak even then because it's like um, I think Leos can be some of the most loving beautiful kind considerate um, people in the zodiac but um, fiercely loyal when you're hurt that that retreat you can you it takes you a long time to get back and, you, and your defenses mechanisms up okay about taking this new leap of faith um, and it could be because you have options. Two of Pentacles speaks about literally juggling. Um, it could be that you're juggling between two people if you're single and you're short of, not sure of which way to go, um, which one is going to lead you on the same path. And I feel like if that is accurate and true for you, it's like they're two very different people, okay? You're wanting to take a new leap of faith, but it's like, oh, which way do I go? If that is the case, take your time, okay? Take your time very clearly because you've got the energy of the Ten of Cups, which is my emotional abundance, my happy home. It, you know, there's a rainbow over the head of these two parrots. They're in harmony. They're in love. Um, and you're going to find that. But you, if this is the truth for you, um, for the Leos that are watching this that are single, please take your time. Okay, there is no rush. Wait till the new moon and you will know then to take this leap of faith. Okay, new moons are all about taking a new, starting something new, starting something fresh. Full moons are about completion. 
and we've just come out of a full moon cycle. Um, for those of you that are happily coupled and you are going down this new path of um, you're either just recently engaged or you're getting married or you're taking your relationship to the next level, um, I still see that money's tight between you, okay? And you're juggling. You're kind of like, oh, I, money goes out, money comes in, money goes out, money comes in. And because of that, there's like petty arguments at home, like little bickering. Um, just, just be careful, Leo, of your words. Sometimes I think that in the heat of the moment, um, and we're all human, hey, but like sometimes I don't think you understand the gravity of your words and you could wound someone in this next fortnight with what you're saying over something that's really not that big of a deal, but you're tired and frustrated, okay? Just there's a word of warning there. Um, and for some of you, I really see this beautiful energy where you're coming out of this period of being alone, you're starting a new beginning, you're letting go of this five of cups of, of feeling like it's never going to happen for me and you're stepping into this beautiful energy of the ten of cups, this new beginning. Okay, like literally, look at that, walking straight into this love and it's gorgeous. Happy home. Um, emotional contentment. For others of you, um, there was a Taurus woman that was quite conniving around you. She's the one that broke your heart. That's why your guard is up. Something to do with money. Just, that was a very clear message for someone out there. Okay, but for new people wanting to take a leap of faith and juggling between two people and not sure which way to go, take your time, wait two weeks. For those of you that are in a relationship and that are happy and you're juggling money because of this new commitment, just be careful with your words to each other, yeah? Look, look at this guy. He is so fierce. He is just like, nah, nah. you're going to hurt your partner otherwise and then you'll regret it later. Um, and for those of you where you've been really hurt, and I'm so sorry for that, um, it's okay to have your guard up for now, okay? Give it time. Give it time to mourn that energy. All right, Leo, let's have a look at the additional guidance messages for you. Please show me what are the additional messages for the son of Leo in love from the 3rd of June to the 17th of June. I feel like we're going to get two cards because there's two different messages here. <laughs> One was sticking up and didn't I say two? Look at that. Hilarious. Right. Um, and look, I just happen to have a sneak peek, but at the bottom you have uh, the fool again. Okay. It's all about taking that leap of faith. Yeah. Trusting. I'm not going to read that card, but I just wanted to let you know that's repeating energy coming through. Okay. So you have nurture, which is my empress card coming through again, but in the upright this time, which is beautiful and teach. So I'm going to read them both out to you, Leo. Let's see what they have to say. <clears throat> Nurture. Cherish, nourish, blossom, abundance, nature and creativity. The Nurture card reminds you to tend to the garden. Relationships must be nourished in order to thrive. Count the abundant blessings of the relationships you have. Find ways to let other people know that you care for them and appreciate them. Good relationships can be taken to new levels of happiness and faltering relationships can be revived with loving care and attention. Equally, be sure to tend to the, your relationship with yourself. Nurture yourself by giving the grace to be who you really are and love yourself for it. Take a few moments every day to connect with the divine. Pull a card from this deck. Well, you don't have the deck, but it says meditate for five minutes or simply pull, have an attitude of gratitude. Nurture your mind by engaging in activities that stimulate and engage. Use your creativity in some way every day. Leos are quite creative, by the way. Um, everyone has the ability to be creative, whether you paint, write, cook, sew, sing, dance, live. Take your body, take care of your body by maintaining your good health. Relax in a bubble bath, enjoy a good cup of tea or take a long walk. Connecting with nature can soothe and nourish all aspects of yourself. This is a really important message for those that are healing from that Taurus woman that has hurt you. Okay, and if she's not a Taurus woman, she could just be um, a woman that's been manipulated for the men out there and for the women that are dating women. 
It's really about um, flipping that into a positive for you, okay? Um, finally, it says, remember that nurturing yourself also raises your vibration, sends a signal of love into the universe. If you desire it, that signal can be a beacon that will bring new and loving relationship to you. And the affirmation is, I shower all my relationships with loving attention and watch them blossom. Okay, beautiful message. Now, next one, we have teach. <clears throat> Shepherd, advise, learn, wisdom, reflection and beliefs. Although the name of this card is teach, it brings the dual energies of both teaching and learning. You have much wisdom to offer regarding affairs of the heart, Leo. This wisdom has been gained through all your joys and your sorrows. At this time, there may be an opportunity to assist someone regarding a relationship. That person may even be you. When the opportunity arises, remember that the shepherd, the one who gently guides his sheep along the desired path, uses the same gentleness in guiding your, themselves. Um, there may also be an opportunity to learn right now. And this could take place in many ways, through conversations, observations, or even reflection. Take a moment to reflect on what you've already learned about your relationships and what you still want or need to understand. Then seek a teacher who will arrive at that um, understanding with you. The downside of teach card is that when your teachers, um, when our teachers want us to blindly follow their direction, in relationships this often leads to restrictions and disappointment. Um, teachers come in many forms, family, friends, society and so on. If a relationship is not going smoothly, maybe it's time to examine the beliefs you hold about relationships. Are they truly your beliefs or have you unintentionally accepted the beliefs of others, beliefs that no longer serve you? And then the affirmation says, in matters of the heart, I offer what I know, learn what I don't know and remain true to myself. Now, Leo, this is the card in traditional tarot of the Hierophant. So it talks about um, that card of commitment, which you had in your last reading, right? Of like legal institutions, of marriage, of commitment. Um, but in this deck, it's really talking about your views on that. Okay. So for those that are juggling, that's the invitation to actually sit there and, and, and go through it. All right, Leo. So thank you so much. That has been your reading. If you like it, please um, tick the like button. It helps the channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you res this reading resonated with you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you back. Um, and I just want to give a bit of a shout out for those that have had personal readings with me. Um, thank you for being so raw and vulnerable and trusting me, um, in doing a reading for you. I'm pleased to say that I have been accurate in all of my predictions so far. So that's, um, always nice to know as a reader, but, um, more importantly, I just wanted to give a shout out that my YouTube special is, um, only available until we hit a thousand subscribers and we're almost there. So if you've been thinking about having a personal reading with me, get in now while it's still cheap. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to put the rates at what I normally charge for readings in person. Um, so if you've been thinking about it, now's your time. And if not, thank you for watching and I will see you um, in a couple of weeks at the new moon reading. Thanks, Leo. Take care.